Now, the Greens MP, Adam Bant, has just stepped up for a media conference in Canberra. He's talking, amongst other things, about the Qantas announcement. Iconic airlines and important national security assets uh, are getting sacked so that speculative ventures uh, for Jetstar in Asia and a loss-making international operation can continue. Uh, the government shares some blame for this. Tony Abbott has turned his back on uh, an airline that clearly needs assistance and that is facing competition from other airlines that have their government backing them to the hilt. Uh, had the Abbott government stepped in and given Qantas some of the support that uh, it had been asking for, we may not be seeing thousands of jobs uh, unnecessarily facing the axe. The Pine Higher Education Bill would see the end of public universities as we know them now, if it is passed. It's an ugly piece of legislation. It would be bringing in greater uncertainty and anxiety to uh, students, their families, young people thinking about their future. Uh, Opportunity is everything when it comes to education, but it needs to be an education system that's fair, and that's not what we get under Minister Pine. Uh, opportunities when it comes to education shouldn't depend on how much uh, your parents' bank balance is. And this um, legislation uh, takes um, the reform that we need in the higher education sector absolutely in the wrong direction. It um, rips out $5 billion from our public higher education system, will drive up fees enormously, um, will provide subsidies to private for-profit companies uh, for the first time and will widen the gap between metropolitan and regional universities. Uh, so when we look into the detail of what Minister Pine has announced today, it is really very alarming. It's legislation that should be defeated uh, because it doesn't bring beneficial reforms that we need. Uh, he talks about opportunity. He talks about that so many more students will come into the system. But when you look at what the bill actually sets out. You can see how misleading he is. The opportunities he talks about really rest just with wealthy white males. They're the um, demographic that will come to dominate our universities under his system. Uh, and just looking at some of the detail, he makes a great, um, gives great emphasis to the Commonwealth Scholarship Scheme. Now there he's actually stolen a good name, a name that has standing. It's a name of um, a previous scholarship scheme where governments did put in money, but under Minister Pine, no government money, no public money will go to the Commonwealth Scholarship Scheme and it will depend on um, universities. Um, it will, there will only be money for such scholarships if the universities increase their fees by more. Okay, we'll leave that there. That